So I wanted to give you guys some time with the satisfying wheel cleaning and all that editing and all. So we always start with the wheels first because just the logic through that process, it works because if you're cleaning your wheels after you clean the paint, that dirt will just be slinging all over your clean paint. So we start with the wheels and then I move on to spraying down the car and in direct sunlight like I am right here with black paint especially, I do it for probably like 10 minutes, honestly, just to try and cool down the paint a little bit. But then we move on to the foam cannon. The foam cannon also helps with the heat on the black paint because it's white and it will reflect some of that heat in the light. So that helps with that too. So once we foam down the car, we get to the contact wash. Um, and I know everyone says to do the two bucket method, but honestly, the logic through that doesn't really make sense because you're just entering dirt into both buckets. So what I'm doing here is I have just one bucket with about three super plush microfiber towels. And what you do is you just, you don't re-dunk them anytime. Because each towel has eight sides. And so you're never introducing dirt into the paint this way. So you flip to a new side of the towel on each panel. And then once you run out of sides, you move to the next towel, which has been soaking in soapy clean water. Here I'm just using my PNS bead maker. It's a great product. I use it as a final detailer and also just to help dry off the car. So I spray it on after I uh, rinse off all the soap and I let it sit for a little bit, just rinse it off. See right here, the water's just beating right off and that helps with the drying process a lot. Um, then I just dry up the car really quick since it's in sunlight. Now I'm moving it into the garage so I can work in shade. Right 
right here you can see me in this little time lapse i'm just getting all the water droplets since i don't have an air dryer and the common spots for this car you know just the headlights and then all the door gaps so i went in between the hood and then i went ahead and opened up the trunk inside the mirrors i fold them in and out and get the water in there um, and then you can see me just going around the whole car getting water out from all the small crevices so i don't have any drops then you'll see me opening up the doors and the gas cap um, and getting the water and just cleaning the door jams after all is said and done with all that. Then you see me going around with that PNS bead maker again. Like I said, it's a great final detailer as well. And I'm just touching up a few streak marks or water spots that I had. Then I'm using the Turtle Wax Ceramic Spray Coating. It's a great product. I love using it so much. It's a great ceramic coating for consumer use. You spray on your towel a couple times to prep the towel and then you spray one or two sprays for each panel, but since the hood is pretty big on this car, I did a few more than usual. Then you just want to buff it on, and then after you're done letting it sit for a little bit, it will flash, and you'll see a little bit of a rainbow effect like uh, professional ceramic coatings. Then you want to go ahead and buff it off. And you can just see the shine on the paint and the mirror light reaction with that ceramic coating is just insane. And I haven't even done paint correction yet. Alrighty, well I got her all done. I got that turtle wax sprayed all over and applied. So that was the turtle wax ceramic sealer that I put on it and it always makes it shine just amazingly. And then I went ahead and I applied it to the wheels too so they'll be easier to clean in the future. And I am out of tire shine right now so that's why the wheels look a little, or the tires look a little musty, but it's all good. It still looks fine for what it is now. But I got that, uh, temporary ceramic coating on right now just a spray coating and it looks really good and I mean even though I still haven't done paint correction on it it looks like a mirror there's not a surprising amount of uh, swirls that I was expecting to be on this car but it looks great I love it still just absolutely in love with this car everything about it but this black metallic paint is just insane but that was the video for today. I will be doing a ceramic coating and full paint correction video soon. Uh, it probably will be in a month or so, if not later, but I just wanted to go ahead and make a video for you guys to show what to do whenever you first buy a new car and what I'm doing as a professional detailer, Smith Auto Detailing. So if you are in the OKC area or the Edmond area, hit me up. Um, I can help you out with your car in detail for you, but I just want to show you guys what to do for your new car. And then I would recommend applying your own sealant like that turtle wax ceramic sealant um, because the ones from the dealership just really aren't that great. But that was the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you on the next one.